I'm Drew Duglin, and I'm joined by Professor Stefano Foley, who's going to tell us all about AlphaFold, and it's really taken the computational biology and artificial intelligence space by storm recently. So, Stefano, you know, can you tell us what is AlphaFold and what's been the big news? Um, so, yeah, AlphaFold is a is a computational method that has been used to predict the uh, the three dimensional structure of proteins. Um, so, proteins are are a sequence a linear sequence of amino acids that uh, uh, once uh, uh, they are synthesized inside cells, assume a very specific three-dimensional structure, which is directly associated with their function. So in order to function the way they fun they do, they need to um, assemble in this uh, three-dimensional bundle, which is usually spherical or stretched. They can have uh, different, um, um, different features. Uh, now, predicting this is an incredibly difficult task that, that daunted the oldest scientists till uh, AlphaFold came through with their new computational method, essentially to predict how proteins fold and assume their three-dimensional structure solely from their uh, linear sequence. Right. And what is the scale of this discovery? Like, how many proteins are we talking about when uh, that this AlphaFold uh, sort of system has has predicted? So th the thing is this, until now, we could have predicted structure of very few proteins that were very small. And so we could use uh, expensive computational methods to predict their structure. But now that the, this new method came along, um, it is possible, it, it became possible to do this in a very high throughput scale, meaning that for all the sequences that we could put our hands on, um, in principle, is now possible to obtain a three-dimensional structure. So the first time, as soon as the, the um, uh, method was released, uh, they actually solved the, the structure. They uh, they predicted the structure of uh, uh, more than 90% of all the proteins in the human proteome and then a bunch of organisms. But just lately, um, they released a new database that contains the salt structure of 200 million sequences, which is a, wow. a tremendous um, effort, but is, is an incredible breakthrough because uh, it provides all these structures for uh, all researchers around the world freely to, to, to do their analysis. Oh, it's amazing, yeah, that it's open source. And it strikes me that this has happened relatively quickly. So how have they been able to make these predictions in such a short span of time? So what they did was to use uh, um, um, machine learning, which is uh, um, a, a branch of uh, information technology that uh, is uh, dedicated to build complex mathematical models based on statistical data. So by looking at the structures that were solved um, in the last uh, uh, four or five decades, um, it was possible to start isolating these very hidden patterns that dictate how proteins fold. Their success rate uh, was way above any other method that was presented uh, before. And so uh, people started talking uh, rightfully so about the, a revolution in the field. So we finally had a method that was able to predict the protein a protein structure just with, from their sequence with a, an accuracy that was uh, uh, unprecedented. And as you alluded to, when these proteins form their three-dimensional structure, that's when they have a lot of their biological activity. So how is it that you use AlphaFold in your lab and how will this development now uh, sort of advance your research and what, what could be the impact? So yeah, uh, the way in which we, we run uh, research in my lab is by uh, taking those structures and then try to extract the structure of proteins in their native form and try to extract information that can be used to drive uh, drug discovery or can be used to disco to derive um, information about the, the biological activity of these molecules. And so until the before the advent of AlphaFold, we had to rely on the fact that there were structures available for a given protein, especially when we're, our collaborators were coming along and asking, uh, how can we design a drug for the protein that we've been studying for the last 10 years? So without a structure, it, it is not impossible, but it's incredibly hard to, to do any any decent structure-based uh, drug discovery. So now that there is AlphaFold, uh, basically we have a, an easy way to, um, to use nearly every protein we can think of to perform very focused structure-based uh, drug discovery. And of course, we're not the only lab that does that uh, all over the world. I'm sure there are tons of labs that are, that are exploiting this to, to um, to advance their, their research. Another thing that's coming to fruition is the fact that the, now we can start looking at this huge amount of data, which is the structure of all the proteins that have been solved by AlphaFold so far, to start looking for our own hidden patterns. So how certain proteins 
um, interact specifically with um, uh, small organic molecules that can act as drugs? Can we find better drugs by just looking at the, uh, the similarity between all these proteins um, across huge families and across vast uh, arrays of, uh, of other structures? So yeah, for us, it's a, it's a big jump ahead. One of the problems is that the, the proteins we've seen so far before AlphaFold were the proteins that were relatively easier to access and relatively easier to um, to solve uh, their structure. Uh, while now we can actually tackle targets that uh, were considered untractable before. So proteins for which we didn't have a structure, we didn't have a, even a close relative um um, um a close relative structural relative that we could use as a template so now we can um we can probably start tackling um proteins that were never seen before and that were where uh, at least their structure was never seen before um so i would imagine that, that nearly every um uh, therapeutic um aspect of of research is going to be impacted so cancer um alzheimer research uh and so on and so forth.